hi everyone welcome back so in this lecture i am going to explain you how spring security maintaining multiple requests without entering credentials so whenever you are logging first time so after that once you logged in successfully first time so second time if you try same url so spring security will prompt you landing page right home page so it will not ask you credentials until unless you log out so how the spring security is maintaining authentication details for multiple request without entering username and password so let me log in very first time okay sachin and password sachin at 123 click on sign in button access to local host was denied why so our home page is unable to access because access to local host was denied 403 forbidden so why let's see let's check now so what is our url user controller and here this is our registration page the moment we enter localhost colon 8080 and this registration page should come right so this is not at all need i have not uh, given url for that right so here slash slash is nothing but by default whenever you are access localhost colon 8080 then by default this page will be displayed so now what we have tried so localhost colon same url we have tried so let me try again here click enter so authentication is success but we are unable to access registration page why because in previous class we have not enabled slash see only we are enabling test api 1 test api 2 so these two apis will be authenticated test api 3 Uh, without authentication we can access test api 3 and test api 4 we cannot access you, you can authenticate but you cannot access the landing same so now <coughs> sorry so now since our registration page is having default configuration right default uri so slash so it doesn't have any uri so so we have to enable this uri so how we can enable this slash go to your custom security configuration and add so now uh, slash comma within the string slash star star so what does the meaning of this what is the meaning of this so the url url which are followed by slash must authenticate that is the meaning of that so here we have we are using request matcher along with authenticated so inside this url so slash 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 star star i have given so any url which is followed by slash must be authenticated so it will not access directly so now this to no use actually now until uh, since i have given slash star star so these two are no need to give so because i am giving everything should be authenticated except these two so now uh let's try now just i'm refreshing the browser so we are successfully logged in right we have successfully logged in after logged in i am unable to access the uri landing page right so now let me refresh see it will not ask you uh credentials let's check see it is not asking credentials for us change your password i don't want to change so here uh without adding credentials without entering credentials we are able to see the user registration page let me try again i will open another window and uh, click on enter same api so see same url so it, it is not asking credentials as many number of browsers if you open it won't ask you credentials because very first time when we logged into our web application our credentials are uh, stored in security context so how spring security is maintaining our credentials so let's debug now 
so we have a developer console right function f12 function f12 press function f12 and you can see developer console inside the developer console you can see there is a application tab so we have elements console source network so you have to find application tab so inside this application tab we have application level properties storage so you can see these are all the three storage inside the storage we have a cookies you can see there is a uh, field called cookie so here you can select your uri so here you can see there is a j session id is created so the moment uh, successfully authenticated spring security will provide will uh, will uh, generate one cookie that cookie name called j session id this cookie will be sent as a response to the browser this cookie will be sent from spring security this book this uh, j session id cookie will be sent by spring security to the browser for the future transactions nothing but future request so if you try with your application same you are all again and again it will not ask you password to enter it will not ask you credentials to enter so since uh, spring security is maintaining cookie so based on this cookie only j session id spring security is maintaining authentication for future request if you send multiple 100 request also spring security will maintain your uh, credentials uh, in security context and it will store those uh, credentials uh, as a cookie as a cookie and it will generate as j session id and it will send it back to your browser so when you try again let's let's see if you refresh the browser along with the request when I, as many number of time if you refresh see if you see uh, browser is blinking i am refreshing the browser as many number of time if you refresh the browser along with your request every time this j session id will go to the your server your web sub, your application so spring security will check this token this j session id it will validate if it is uh, uh, validate successfully then it will not ask you credentials so testing purpose what i will do i will just uh, change this j session id let me remove j session id 9 uh, at the end i am just uh, typing 8 anything wherever you can modify i am just modifying the j session id just click enter so after that now we'll see how spring security is intelligent see you can see now i am going to i have modified the j, uh, j session id now if you refresh the browser see it is not allowing us to authenticate because it is already uh, we have modified the j session id so spring security is validated this j session id so after that it, 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 it is verifies it is a invalid so it is sending response back you must log in again please sign in so this is how spring security by default uh, by default it will uh, it will allow multiple requests without entering username and password so this is the cookie is being used for uh, multi, uh, future transaction future transactions or multiple requests see j session id so if you modify it will not allow to allow you to access so this is how spring security is maintaining j session id and this j session id is na name called cookie you can call it as a cookies so cookies browser can store a cookie so spring security will send a cookie to the browser to authenticate for multiple requests quests it's very very simple guys so in next lecture i will explain you uh, how we can hack this spring security is there any way to hack the spring security so let's assume if you uh, take this url token and open into another another browser and try uh, modifying this uh, same uh, j session id and try you can log in or not so that you can you can try to debug yourself so how whether spring security is uh, uh, allowing this token in another browser or not so you have to cross verify okay i will show you in next lecture thank you guys